Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Looking back to the weekend, plus a look forward to the winter sports season. Let's start with the WNCC volleyball team. They go 2-2 two two at the national tournament, finishing in 6th place in West Plains, Missouri. After a split on day 1, they beat Central Wyoming last Friday, and then this past weekend on Saturday, they fell in a 5-set thriller to Salt Lake Community College. That gives them that 6th place finish at Nationals. The Cougars wrap up the year with a fine mark of 34-5, and, and sophomore Allie Mayoni was selected as one of 12 members of the National All-Tournament team. Basketball over the weekend for the Cougars saw the women drop a couple of games. They were in Casper losing games to two nationally ranked opponents. The WNCC men, they were in Salt Lake City going one and one. It'll be a women's and men's doubleheader tomorrow night at Cougar Palace. Some rivalry action, both Cougar squads hosting EWC. That'll get underway at 530. Last Friday for high school sports, it was the winter media day at Scotts Bluff High School with student athletes and coaches from all around the valley in attendance. We check in on the gearing teams today. The boys basketball team went 9-14 a year ago and lost in a district final to Scott. Coach Kyle Cotton bringing back all his key contributors from last season. You know, they're all familiar with each other, what they, what can, they can do well, you know, uh, what we do well as a team and then what we need to really focus on. And, and those roles, you know, the, the unselfishness uh, is really starting to come through. We're working well as a team in practice. Um, our expectations uh, within the team are really high. Uh, I don't know how it is outside of the team, but, um, you know, we're looking to be playing in March. And to do that, you know, we have to work hard every day, and these guys understand that. I think the other guys do. and. Just got to go out every day and work hard. For the Gehring girls, they lose just one starter off last year's roster, and head coach Steve Land is liking what he's seeing so far early on at workouts. But we do have four starters back. I think uh, the kids have worked hard over the summertime. Um, we've had great practices so far, very competitive. We have a large freshman group out that's really helped us. I think our sophomores had hurt us over numbers-wise over last year with uh, two or three kids um, out there, but. Uh, we do have some talent out there. We got some young kids competing with some older kids, and uh, we've had, had really competitive practices so far. That was Gehring basketball. Let's talk the Gehring wrestling team right now as we go from hoops to the mat. As for the Gehring wrestling team, they were a state champion two years ago in Class B, another solid team a year ago. And even though maybe a bit of a younger squad this year, head coach Jared Berger thinking they're going to be pretty solid once again. Yeah, we got a few good guys back. I think four qualifiers come back, so um, including Colin, you know, runner up last year. So we got some some guys that have been been to the, the state tournament and have experienced there. So that's always big. Have a really good group of, of freshmen uh, that come in this year. So it's fun to it's fun to see those new new uh, new bodies in the room that they have a lot of talent. And they've been they've been wrestling their whole lives, so they're they're experienced. You know, maybe not the high school level, so they'll get they'll get a taste right away. You know, first tournament in Cozad. So. That's a look at some winter sports over at Gearing ahead of the first competitions coming up late next week. That is the latest today from the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.